Now CRI film critics John Hoffman and Patrick Boberg bring us their review of the movie Rio, rated PG for mild off-color humor. It's what you feel in here. Blue and Jewel might be the last two blue macaws on the planet, so they're brought together to save their species. But three bazillion baddies and a conniving cockatoo have other plans in Rio. Ten years ago, Blue Sky Studios released Ice Age, a computer animated kid's favorite that was fun, full of laughs, and chock full of celebrity voices. Fast forward to today, and their latest offering is Rio, featuring much of the same. Now in the interim, computer animated movies exploded. So much so that it's getting kind of annoying. So John, are the exotic colors of Rio enough to make this flick fly above the pack? Or is it just another forgettable kids film? Well, Rio's full of uh, bright, beautiful colors and the animation is great. That alone makes it worth watching now, but I think a few years down the road, Rio's gonna be sitting on the DVD shelves collecting some dust as the next generation of bright, colorful animated films are gonna, gonna fly past it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it. I can't fly. Am I dead? No. We're still alive. <laughs> Rio starts with birds singing in the Brazilian jungle, and everything's happy and nice. And wham! Smugglers kidnap Blue and a bunch of other birds and ship them off to all corners of the globe. That's a pretty stark thought, almost like a slave trade for wildlife. But five minutes later, that theme is almost completely abandoned for our fun, happy kids film. As an adult, that's kind of an awkward twist, but soon enough, I was laughing like a kid at all the silly bird antics and fast-paced action. Yeah, Pat, the voice actors in this movie are great too. I think Jesse Eisenberg is a perfect fit as the main character, Blue, and I had a lot of fun listening oh to Will I Am sing and dance around as a bird for uh, some of his lines. But uh, as for some of the other musical numbers, yeah, not, not too good. I was striking suave, ambitious, fit to be super delicious. Now I'm vile. I am the ambitious. Oh, and malicious. There's a lot going on in this movie. Blue's trying to learn how to fly, mate with the last of his kind, avoid being sold in the bird trade, and all the while trying to get back to his desperate and lonely owner. It was a fun ride for the most part, but you know, I was expecting more of that kind of fun humor where kids laugh and adults laughed even harder. Mm. Not too much of that, but still worth the price of admission. Yeah, it's definitely for kids. Rio doesn't carry any weight for adult audiences. But if you're a fan of bird puns, this film brings it and brings it hard. It's worth the price of admission, at the very least for Jermaine Clement's Evil Cockatoo.